Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, hello, I am Mitchell, and uh, this is Dungeon of the Endless. This is a game that was recommended to play by Talon, uh, special thanks to Talon for being a Patreon supporter, of course, and uh, yeah, I, I, I haven't actually played a full run of this yet. I played about like maybe five minutes just to get my feet wet. I uh, watched Northern Lions uh, video looking at the game. And uh, that's essentially all of my uh, knowledge of this game. I've also looked up a little bit about it. Um, but uh, this is, for all intents and purposes, going to be a pretty, like, it's not a completely blind run, but it's like maybe looking at it with, like, looking through your fingers kind of run. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Dungeon of the Endless. I'll, I'll also go over what I know about this game once we get into uh, the first little thing here. Basically, the the general gist is that this is like a roguelike tower defense game, and that will uh, make a lot more sense as we go through this. I can't do too easy. Come on, that's impossible. There's no way I can do too easy. Okay, so we have four heroes to choose from: Max O'Kane, Gork Butcher Coruscant, and Nurse Dina Ratchet. I'm gonna go with Zero Suit Samus with the sword and uh, Duke Nukem. Hold on. Oh, 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 just that one. Aha! There we go. Zero Suit Samus with, with the sword and Duke Nukem with green pants. So let's start it up. Also, please let me know if there are any issues with the, the stream, any kind of sound, uh, syncing problems, anything. Just let me know. Alright, so let's go over the basics. Um, so, basically this works as, like I said, it's a, it's a tower defense slash roguelike slash dungeon crawler. So, it's real time, but it's also a little bit turn based. A uh, turn doesn't pass until I open one of these doors. So, let's... Uh, Get all of our guys, open this door, and see what happens. Okay, so we fight some guys, fight some guys, fight some guys, fight some guys. Now we have unlocked a, a little area over here. We can power the room by clicking the, the middle little mouse button. And what that does, basically, is powers the room, allows us to see, and most importantly, it makes it so that you can uh, enemies will not spawn in this room. Uh, if, you ha if you have a dark room left over, Enemies have a chance of spawning from it, and they will work their way towards this crystal thing. And if they kill this crystal, you're fucked. Um, what you can do, though, is we can create generators to get us re uh, resources. Our resources are up top here. This is industry, this is science, this is food, this is dust. Um, industry will let us create modules and towers, basically. Modules will help us uh, get more resources and well uh, towers are basically you know ways to attack monsters uh, so first thing we're gonna do is try to get some some industry so let's put some industry right there um, let's see what else and so dust is the, kind of the most interesting of the resources uh, you see here we have two little uh, two little gauges on this little meter uh, that is essentially our power, so we can power up a room by once again clicking the, the middle mouse button, but we can only do it for two rooms until we get more dust. So let's see, we only have one room to open here, let's open up this room. Uh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Oh hey, we found, we found more dust, good. So now we can power up three rooms. And only one door to open, so let's open up the door. 25 dust is what we need to open the next door. Or to, to get the next module. Heroes will uh, recharge their, their life uh, after every room. Or after every after you clear every room, basically. Every turn. So, we have 19. 
We're still in good shape here. Only one door to open. Five dust there. Wow, we're in great shape, actually. Now we have even more power. Okay, uh, and we can make something else. So let's make a... I'm gonna make a food replicator, actually. Right there. And we can use food to level up our heroes. So I'm gonna level up Sarah. Gives her defense when grouped with others they trust. Okay. She also has a runaway skill. Makes her speed go up. Uh, Gork Butcher Corusser has a attack power and speed buff. Polite people call it Berserker Rage. And Pack of Dogs attack power is 6% when mates are nearby. Oh, you don't see... Okay, we need to fix that. So you don't see the, the resources. Uh, that's no that's no good. So we're going to take off the overlay. Sorry about that. And we will add in the bottom overlay. And we'll put it down. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, move down. Move down. There we go. Alright, much better, right? Alright, so, yeah. I think we're, we're okay here. Is this powered? Yeah, it is powered. Okay, good. Power that one. <laughs> Let's both get rich. Or, or so what's this? Or me anyway? What's this? I don't know. Hostile creatures found again. You just found some food. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's a it's a merchant. Okay, cool. So we can get a rapier for what? Nine science. Pea shooter, a fuzzy, this is a submachine gun, pistol, nail gun, attack power is 12, yeah, I'll take this. Uh, so let's do that, alright, uh, wait. there we go, alright! All right, so now we have a, a conundrum because now we have two doors to open. We want to, I, I would imagine, we'd want to try to keep, um, keep it simple. We don't want to have too many doors, uh, too many pathways open because that w that way enemies can flood in from two, two, uh, two different fronts. This is a big room. Oh, cool. Wasn't that bad? Uh, we have a bunch of money, so why don't we spend this time to try to protect our modules. So let's get some prisoner prods there. Prisoner prod there. Prisoner prod there. And one more right there. Okay. Ah. Dead. All right. So, oh shit. There's there's monsters spawning in here. We're so good. We're so good. Okay. Yeah. See, now we we need more dust because we don't have enough power to charge up all these rooms. But fortunately, I think we should be fine because I think. I don't think an enemy is going to get past this little this little thing over here. So I think we should be fine. But if the need arises, we'll have to run back. Oh, that thing's big. Dead. 
Everything else look good? Everything else looks good. We can level this guy up. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't really need anything else, does he? Uh, we got 22. Industry. This actually, we can, uh... Hold on, let's... I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's go over here. We can actually use this to level up our science. Or to level up uh, something here. Uh, dust field generator adds 30% defense to heroes in the, in the same room. Uh, defense to NPCs. Uh, prisoner prod level 2. That seems good. Let's get that. We'll use that to defend this room. Or wait, can we... Wait, I don't understand. Hold on. No. No, wait! I thought I got prisoner prod level 2. Why is the... Why is the... Ah! How do I do it? I thought I got prisoner prod level two. Okay, model modules. You'll you. Oh, that's right. Take some time. Okay, thank you. That's right. I remember now. Attack! There we go. Power up another room. Any no enemies spawning? Good. Uh, not enough. Okay. I have a lot of money. Oh, I just found the exit. Cool. Okay. Uh, in that case, we'll probably uh, we'll save up our. We'll save up our uh, resources here. I was going to build some more stuff. But now, so what happens now is I, I haven't, actually haven't even seen or gotten to this part. But now I got to bring the crystal from here all the way to the exit. And enemies are likely going to spawn in the dark areas. So. Hmm. We're at 64 dust. I guess let's just give it a shot. Come on, fatty. Actually, you know what? Maybe what we should do is keep you in the dark rooms so that you can stop them if they try to, to do stuff. Let's give it a shot. Go! Oh! Okay. I didn't know that they would spawn from that room, too. It's okay, though. We got this. Get that buff. Oh, get ready to heal. Oh, no! I made a mistake! <laughs> oh, no! I wasn't expecting that much, that much power coming from that guy. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. Alright, well... You live and learn, right? You learn from your mistakes. My mistake there was... What I should have done is I should have taken the thing, led it into the room where I had all of those, uh, those lasers. And I should have fought it there. I should have picked my battle. So now we know, though. Now we know. All doors, when you pick up the crystal, uh, all doors open and they spawn from dark, dark rooms. Alright, so... I thought, you know, I thought we did okay for our first run. Let's give it another shot. 
Uh, let's try different characters. Max O'Kane. Nurse Deanna Ra or Dina Ratchet. Max is eternally optimistic, mostly because he is too terrified of what he is to think about, uh, of where he is to think about it seriously. He will always be looking to profit from a situation, get extra loot, take one one more object, spend less money, etc. Even if he puts him in a bad, risky position or earns angry comments from his heroes, Ratchet is unable to do anything <clears throat> anything without screaming orders before, during, and after. An overbearing and annoying Martinet. She does not consider a job well until a, a, a job well done until the entire galaxy has heard about it. Unafraid to yell when silence will do, her voice has been classed as a lethal weapon. Does she actually use her voice as a weapon? <clears throat> Tom G, hello, hello. All right, so let's do this again. Hey there, Ori clam, clam down. Alright, so. First turn. The huge. Oh, good. Ten dust. Alright, we'll power up this room. Seven industry. We'll make an industry generator again. Let's check out this one. It's really annoying because this is one of those games where if I move my uh, cursor uh, all the way to the right to move the screen, it actually moves it onto my second screen. And that is driving me crazy. Hello. Good. A lot of food. Alright, so let's level up this guy. Verbal abuse, heroes in room, attack power, blah blah blah. Yell enough and you'll get a reaction. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, we can make another module. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a food replicator. Good, nothing here. Ugh. Three doorways. Not good. Science! Oh, crap. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. <gasps> no! Get away! I forgot to power this fucking room! Ah! Oh. I forgot to power the room. Oh. That was bad. Enemies can't come from this. Can oh, they they broke it. Can you like repair this? They broke my thing. They broke my thing. Ugh. Ah, I'm so upset. Alright, so now that's being lit. Good. Alright, what we should do is make some things over here. Kill it! Kill it! Alright, we can level up you. Oh, she needs sturdy. Okay, never mind. Passive skills. The monsters don't slow down the hero. Okay. Uh huh. What weapon does she use? She uses a, she uses a gun. Alright, let's depower this because now we have defenses in this room. We'll power up this. Uh, 
Okay. Enemies are spawning. Go, 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 go! Ah, alright, we did get it. So yeah, for, if you are just joining, by the way, this is a basically a tower defense, uh, dungeon crawling roguelike. Where basically I have to protect this crystal. Uh, in order to protect the crystal, I have to explore through the dungeon. By exploring the dungeon, I create rooms that are dark, and if I leave a room that is dark, it will cause monsters to spawn from it. I can only power up four rooms right now, so we got, this room's already powered. One, two, three, uh, well, like maybe one of these other rooms are also already powered. Uh, I can only charge as many rooms as I have, uh, dust slots here. You get one dust slot every ten, uh, points of dust, and you get dust by basically exploring rooms. So, yeah, let's see. I can upgrade you now. Paramedic, that's good. Okay. Very nice. No monsters spawning from there. Good. Good. Ah. So you have to. You can only uh, power up in a stri in basically in a connecting fashion. So okay, I see. These are already powered up. So these are the ones that I'm powering up right now. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I see. I got it. <sighs> Let's go. Next room. Right? Actually, no, we can we can we can do some stuff. No, I should probably shouldn't. I should save my 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 industry. Oh, treasure chest. Kitchen gloves. Sure. Why not? There's the exit. Okay, so we found the exit. Where should our, like, stands be? I feel like we should have a, a last stand over here. So let's make some prisoner prods. Also should see if we can get anything from this. Tactical HUD it adds 18% attack power to all heroes on this floor, but it's only this floor. We're going to be leaving this floor soon, right? Hollow Hero absorbs 150 of points of damage before deactivation. Prisoner Prod Level 2. I mean, we can explore more rooms. Research time is three doors. <clears throat> Dock shards. Add seven health regen to heroes in the same room. This seems pretty useful. I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna get... Wait, is that all? I can only do... Oh, I can only do one at a time. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, the last door of the current floor in the dungeon. Oh, shit! Get back here! Shit! Get that door! Uh. 
Ah. I feel like I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I feel like I've made a mistake. Ah. That was the last door in this dungeon? It was, wasn't it? Shit. What rooms would have... Let's see. Oh, I do have Prisoner Prod level 2 now. Cool. Let's do two right here. All right, let's do it, and we also can probably level up, huh? Level that bitch up! Let's do it! It's gonna get ugly! Let's go. Move up. Move up. Got monsters up there. Alright, move up. We should be fine fighting in here. Move up. Oh. Let's kind of just hold out right here for now. Good. Everyone move up. And success! Woo! Four two. The soundtrack in this game uh, is pretty good in this game, huh? Okay, that dentist visit is now the second worst <laughs> experience of my life. Oh, I want to continue the dialogue. Oh well. Uh, see you later, uh, Cyber. Thanks for joining. So the crystal, Matt, uh, Tom, is basically your your lifeblood. Uh, if the crystal dies, so do you. You have to bring the crystal. Once you find the exit, you have to bring the crystal from this spot to wherever the exit is. And once you grab the crystal, enemies will start spawning from all the dark rooms on the map. Okay. This might be tough because once you go into a new area, you uh, you forfeit all of your modules from the previous level. So I am desperately low on industry right now. Oh, here we go. Nice! That'll help. And what's this? Still. Uh, keep your distance. Blah, 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 blah. Heroes in floor defense. Okay, heroes in floor speed. Heroes in floor. Heroes in rooms without monsters. Each turn, the stell loses health points. When it's destroyed, the, the effect ends. Okay. So it gives me buffs, basically. Cool. Another room to explore over here. And we now have enough to build a module. So let's build industry generator. We'll build
power up this room. Let's build some prisoner prods here. Mitch, could you link to the band? Yeah, of course. Go for it. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking first, I should say. Oh, wow. We found the exit already. Claymore Mine. Ooh. Land module. Adds 120% defense to all major modules on this floor. Operates and adds one wit on major module. Reduces the movement speed of nearby enemies. That's kind of nice. Adds 120% defense to all major modules on this floor. Five industry cost, so that's really expensive. That seems like it's gonna be a necessary necessary thing. Oh hey, Ron! What are you what are you doing watching my stream and not checking out all the PAX PAX East stuff? <laughs> There's some cool stuff going on in PAX East that I, I really wish I was there for. <laughs> I wanna go to PAX East! <laughs> um Land module. Should I get this? Hmm. It's this is gonna be something that's gonna really. It, it, it's not gonna come into play until much later because I still need to build another another module for resources on this level. Well, maybe not. I mean, I might not even be at this level that long. Hmm. I'll just do it. I'll do it. It seems like it was like it was so expensive. How can I pass it up? It seemed like the best the best option. Uh, let me tell you about that. I was scheduled to f fly out yesterday morning. We got 18 inches of snow right before that. Oh no! Ron, you got snowed in from PAX East? Oh, I'm so sorry. unable to get to the airport had to cancel my flight oh my god I would be so disappointed I'm sorry Ron that sucks this thing's tough let's pull, let's pull it back here dead land module unlocked Ah! Ah! Kill it! Huh. 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 This thing too. There was a big letdown. Had to cancel all my appointments too. Man. Should we just, uh, get out of here? Do some more prisoner prodding. Wait! Oh, I reset the researchers! I didn't want to do that! Ah, oh, damn it. 
Oh well, actually, it's not that not that big of a deal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wow, they really don't like me. We got two more coming in. Okay. Light up this. Oh, also, we have a problem here because enemies are going to spawn right from this. So we're definitely going to need to explore this and try to light it up. Um, let's also see if we can level up someone. Nope. Kill it! Stop hurting my crystal! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, they killed my thing. They killed my module. Okay. Let's see. Seventy two dust. 42 food. We still need a little more food. Hmm. Trying to think here. Let's... Let's arm up this spot right here. Okay. <laughs> oh man, there's monsters coming from everywhere! I gotta remember about the first aid thing over there. Power up another room. I say we power up this one. Try to make it so that the monsters only come out from this and this. Hello. That monster just hurt me. It was nice. Where'd it go? Come back. Oh, so we can recruit another person onto our party. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Mitch, we need to play some Evolve this weekend. Distract me from all the packs I'm missing. Oh, Ron. Anytime you want to play Evolve, just let me know. We will, we will throw down. Ooh. Last door. Ah, 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 hold on. Get in there. The crystal does not have a health bar. The crystal will lose dust every time you get it gets hit. I think that's that's how it works anyway. All right, here we go. So let's just see if we can. Enemies will only spawn from these spots. From here, 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 here. 
So I say we take the crystal. Should we just take the crystal and run? Do you think we can make it? If enemies only spawn from here, nothing spawns from over here. We should be fine to just make a run for it. Let's let's give it a shot. We can pause it if things get too crazy. Go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Go, 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 go. Cleared. And to top it all off, now I'm getting a blister. Ron, do you have any idea if you're going to be uh, making a flight out to uh, E3 or Comic-Con or any of those things? Alright, and it's actually pretty good because now we have a good amount of resources going into this next this next floor. And we have a third, third hero. Kill it! Kill them all! I should actually check out who this guy is. Ken Masoki, an ex-member of the Special Forces, Ken's biggest problem was uh, was the fact that he enjoys self-inflicted pain. Always willing to join a knife fight armed with a tennis ball, Ken was the first volunteer for any mission that was hazardous and brutal. Active skills, Sado sel selfish, attack power, plus 50 divided by the heroes in the room. Okay. He's got a machine gun. Good attack power. The most attack power on the team, actually. Power that up. And we're going to be going through the store. Okay, movement speed bonus. Cool. Eight turns remaining for it. Good. Wow, they're fast. <laughs> Power that up. Let's keep going this way. Another one. Expensive heal. Heroes on the floor. Heal cost. Oh, that's oh, wait. Expensive heal. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. Heal cost is times two, so now it costs what, like six to heal? Oh fuck you. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, we need a module. There we go. So, let's go with... A land module. Defense all major modules on this floor. Let's do it. And not enough. Can't power room. Okay, I see. So we need to power this room first. Mitch, uh, my Steam geeked out. What did you say about this one? Oh, uh, Ron, anytime you want to play Evolve, just hit me up. I am always down to play Evolve. Please, let's play Evolve together. We'll see if we can get uh, any number of other people, too. I know there's a couple of people on my stream who uh, who play Evolve. I know Shell Rain does it. Uh, Talon, I think you have Evolve, too, right? Uh, maybe we can even get a full party of four going. Let's go this way. What is this? Oh, science. Land module. Prisoner prods. We 
do prisoner prods. Prisoner prods should go in this room. I'd like to play some play something with you, James and Phil. Soon stream that too. Oh, for sure. Do you play uh, Heroes of the Storm, Ron? Because that's kind of the game that uh, Ron or not, that uh, that James is really into right now. He plays it pretty much every day. Oh, we got things coming through here. Oh shit. And Ron, I also asked you, uh, what do you, what's your, are you planning on going to E3 this year? Oh, that was a waste. I didn't need to put that there. Well, actually, no, it, it lets me depower the, this room, so it should be fine. You will be at E3! Ah, oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> E3 is gonna be so much fun! They're gonna have Rock Band 4, no doubt! Run, 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 run! That. This seems to be powered up uh, automatically by something. This room is powered by a mysterious force. Well, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, can we level up, uh, level up someone? We can level up Ken. So right now I am I am scheduled to go to uh, to E3. I'm gonna cover it for for the Escapist. Whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! We're running. We have plenty of of science. We can really get some cool stuff here. Mechanical Pal operates and adds one wit on major mod. What's wit do? It cracks jokes. Could uh, what does it what does add what one wit do? What is that? Kip cannon. Knowledge in this case, science is power for this cannon. Primary tar priority target: most powerful monster. That's cool. Attack power is increased for each stock science. I'm going to take that because we have a lot of science. We should also probably build some stuff over here. This room can never not be powered, so that's it's definitely a good thing to defend that room. Can't open this door. We already opened this door. I see. I see. Finally, a customer with some money. Oh, too much. Too much, too much. Sorry, don't have that much that much in, uh, industry. 
Did you guys hear about all the crap going on with uTorrent? If you have, you should install it. What's going on with uTorrent? I mean, I haven't used uTorrent in years, but... I'm still interested. Run! Dude, E3 this year is probably like one of the E3s I've been most looking forward to in a while. Like I've been I've been kind of disillusioned by E3 over the last couple of years because it's been so like ugh, so much uh, just playing not even playing games. It's just been about oh, kip can lock. Okay, cool. It's just been about uh, watching watching developer made demos, but uh, this this E3 should be pretty exciting, I think. I'm really looking forward to getting to play Rock Band 4. I have a couple of my own, my own personal friends are going to be there. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it this year. Let us... Uh oh I'm also excited for the networking opportunities because before, you know, I was always just I was there as Mitchell from Gamefront, and uh, you know, I didn't I like I had business cards and stuff, but now I'm like I'm going as a freelance, basically a uh, freelance reporter. So uh, I'm hoping for a good opportunity to make some connections and meet new people and hang out with uh, with good friends. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to it very mucho. So, let's see. Enemies are going to come from here. Enemies are going to come from this area. We should put some of our science cannons probably around... Science cannons, science cannons. Where should the science cannons go? Put some science cannons around here. <clears throat> we also haven't heard back from, we have we also haven't heard anything from Activision. Activision is rumoring uh oh there's a rumor that says Activision is going to bring uh Guitar Hero back as well. Guitar Hero, I should say. Ah! Nothing else there. Four dust. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, run away. Shit. Everyone get out. Wait, no. <gasps> Wait. Wait. How did enemies come from that way? Oh shit. Alright, let's check this out again. Industry generator two, good. That'll t I'll be good. Oh, can't analyze it because there's no remaining closed doors. Damn it. Never mind. All right, so we gotta we gotta plan this out. We want to take we want enemies to take as much time as they can getting to getting to us. If we close that, we can take that and just run. So enemies will spawn from there. We should probably power up this. We should probably power up that too. Mm. Uh. 
Can't do anything about that. Oh man, we're just gonna have to do it. Kip Cannon. Kip Cannon. Prod. And let's do it. We gotta take it and run! Exit! Haven't killed anything for a few minutes. Getting itchy. Feels weird. I'm looking for only for I am only looking forward to Witcher 3 and Bloodborne. Nothing else interests interests me. Witcher 3 is gonna be amazing. Man, Witcher 3. What's that, May? I cannot wait for Witcher 3. But Bloodborne, I don't know. I, I, I don't think anything is gonna beat Bloodborne in terms of my hype for it this year. Kill him. Oh god. Whew. Ooh, maybe something awful is waiting. Yeah. Covered in dust and activating may bring wealth or death. Well, I can't do it anyway, so. Can't afford. Oh, you can. It's only twenty. I thought it was it was uh, more expensive than that. Let's get an industry thing. Uh, aggressive. If I had a face like that, I would want to. I would look for walls to slam it into. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Recruit. Now we got four. Perfect. Whoa, I forgot to power up this room. Alright, let's get another industry generator, I would say. Oh, we need... Okay. So we need five more. Man, I didn't get in fast enough to get that. Uh, hold on, I need to do something really quick. I need to make this smaller. I didn't get in fast enough to get that CE, Collector's Edition. Oh shit, I forgot! Batman comes out this this uh, this year too. Oh man, so many good games are coming out this year. Uh, thing. This thing was found in the ruins. Its radius its radiation increases reflex and coordination at the cost of smelling like rancid rancid pork. Alright, uh you shouldn't mind. You're a you're a what are you? A forger? Sure. You can wear that. Generator. Good. Eight 
industry there. Let's start protecting these modules. I have so much science! <laughs> Let's do business! I hope you use science as your currency. Nope, you use dust. Scope unlocks operate. So take a An exceedingly sharp blade used to repair exceedingly large shoes. I don't know if I really want to use, if I really want to buy this stuff. We'll come back because if I use dust, it's going to prevent me from turning off or uh, turning on these lights. And that is a very important thing right now. You're more hyped about No Man's Sky? Oh man, Elmako, here, here's the thing. I, when, when No Man's Sky was first announced, I was super excited for it. I'm like, wow, this looks amazing. Look how ambitious, how ambitious this is. Like, just being able to take off and just go into space and space battles and, and, and I'm like, but, what, what, what actually are you doing in this game? Like, what's, what's the, what's the end goal? What, like, I don't know anything about this game other than it looks awesome. And then as time has gone on, we've gotten more and more awesome looking trailers of things like, you know, going into the sky and like, it, it, it's like they're trying too hard to replicate the same kind of explosive excitement that people had in its first announcement trailer that they haven't really shown what the game is going to be like. And that is a warning flag to me. It feels like they are trying to, uh, to make it a lot more exciting than the actual gameplay is. And I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little scared about No Man's Sky. I think it's good. It, I hope it's going to be amazing. But the way that they've been marketing it, uh, and the way that the media has been responding to it, honestly, makes me a little worried for it. So much, so much science. So it's gonna be all the way over there. Actually, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like right now, the best course of action is to just take this and run. We already have a lot of stuff. In fact, let's see, we have 102. We, what can we depower? We could probably depower this one. My, I probably shouldn't depower this to give them a little more time to get through there. We're just going to make a beeline for this exit, but I want to see if we can buy anything from here that would be worth getting. Quantum Tunnel t-shirt displays the image displays the images of objects behind the wear, making them difficult to target. Letter opener? Sure, it can open letters and cans and doors, blah, blah, blah. What does this mean? Unlocks operate. Okay, gives plus two to wit. I still don't really know what wit actually does. The size of the bonus provided by your hero when manipulating or repairing a module. I haven't even had to repair a module yet. I don't know if I have anyone who uses a sword. I don't. Spear.
Defense 20. Sure. We'll take this. Alright, now let's see how badly I fucked myself over. We need to keep that lit, keep that lit. Mm. Okay, let's make a run for it. There's no reason not to farm. Uh, uh. Uh, should we do it? Uh. I would have to spend a lot of industry arming up these rooms. Alright, you know what? Let's do it. Ah, oh, not enough. Alright, so let's power this down for now. Power this up. And let's keep on exploring. Ooh, another one! But we don't have enough for you, I'm sorry. Who can we level up here? Go. Wow, wow, hold on. Save her. Ugh. Scary. So we got guys in here. Industry Generator 2. Let's get it. Another one. Land Module 2. Dust Field Generator. Smoking Gun. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh shit! Ah! Run! Jesus! Oh. How's everyone doing? We're still not done yet.
Huh. That sucked. That really sucked. <laughs> and now I have very little food. Okay. So many dark rooms. I feel like we should create some more kip cannons over here. Prisoner prods over here. And let's start by Powering down that. Try to make it so that we can reduce the number of people coming this way, because this is a lot shorter of a distance to travel that's unprotected towards the core. Alright, and we'll power up. Uh, power up this room. Ah! Run! Fuck! Oh, fuck. This is where it all goes bad. <laughs> this is where it all goes bad. Shit. <laughs> I'm fucked. I am fucked. This is it. Let's just go. I, I don't know why I did this. I made a huge mistake. You can do it! And exit! That was horrible! <laughs> that was horrible. Now I know what Brazil- Whoa! What? Now I know what Brazil feels like! You're a space traveler, you- Oh, alright. I feel like there are maybe, like, alien, like, worlds that maybe you can say? Like, maybe just, you know, keep humanity in the, you know, in the high ground? Like, man, now I know what Venus is like. Breathing in all that noxious gas all the time. Ooh, I have just unlocked Ken Masaki. It's just us two. Die! 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 Alright, we're gonna need a lot of food. I didn't even get my industry generator number two! Oh, this is bad.
Attack power 80%. Ooh. But speed sucks. Get out of here. Shit, shit, shit. I'm so slow. Attack! Are right, you heading out, uh, Tom G? If that's the case, I will see you later and thanks for watching. There's the exit. Surviving kit. Okay, we need to uh, start equipping these. Alright, so surviving kit. Unlocks repair. Ooh, cool. I'll give that to you. You can have the thing. You can also have the... Oh, no. No one gets the kitchen gloves right now. Alright, we will light up this room. We're gonna need to start defending. This has the most area for defense. back oh no there's a lot of bad guys here oh this is gonna be it guys Get in there! Huh. Alright. We used a lot of food, but we made it. We made it through. And they fucking killed my industry thing! Ah! Oh, yep, we got bad guys. Run, run, run. Fight. And then run. They're going right for it. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. This is it. Ah! 
Remember the Alamo! <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, not bad for a second attempt. Um, we're gonna end this stream right here, guys. Uh, but that is Dungeon of the Endless. Um, thank you for thank you Talon for recommending that to me. That was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll be back to stream more of this sometime. So once again, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.